Part of the Turkish population is still uprooted. In Izmir, for example, at the bottom of the fortress of Kadıfetekali, several families of Kurds have temporarily settled, having fled the Iraqi border. Their dream of a great country, an independent Kurdistan, will never die. The four million Kurds who live in Turkey aren't easily assimilated by a country with fragile borders. For a living, Hanafi continues to make small carpets in the traditional motifs of her native village, far to the east. Thanks to Turkish laws destined to ease integration, Hanif is now permitted to speak her own language, Kurdish. How speak of Turkey without evoking Turkish carpets? Seven out of ten visitors to Turkey return with a carpet in their luggage. They are made all over the country. This is Seven Yilitz, who creates carpets following traditional motifs at the Bazaar 54, renowned for its highly skilled workforce. All sorts of carpets are made, beginning with the kilim, ancestor of all carpets, up to and including the Kurd sumak, a traditional nomadic carpet. The carpets are colored naturally, with tobacco, sage, or saffron leaves. Every region of Turkey produces carpets in their own distinctive colors, which correspond to the local vegetation. Here, we propose reversible silk carpets, made with 480,000 double knots, or woolen carpets. Or even flying carpets. All the work is accomplished on the premises. There are thousands of workers. These worms are cultivated here for their silk, with which the most expensive Turkish carpets are made. Everyone knows the story of the Trojan horse, but few people know the Troyes in Turkey. The city quoted in the Iliad is 3,000 years old. A replica of the famous horse is a children's favorite. Ancient Pergamum was the capital of culture, sculpture, and architecture in the Hellenistic period. It was invaded by the Arabs in 716 and fell into the hands of the Turks in 1330. As you leave the city, you pass through the Asclepion, the medical center of ancient Pergamum. Its most famous period was in the second century BC. To cure their patients, the doctors made them listen to the sound of water. It was said to be an effective method, at least for manic patients. <laughs> <laughs> 